Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American Collector and Coin Roll Hunter. And here is the remains of my $25 Wheat Penny Box, part of the Dunbar Hoard. And I've got it sorted completely. And I've got all the statistics ready to go. So let's check it out. All right, in the 1950s, we got 1,107 coins. And that included the 1950s, the 1950Ds, and the 1950Ss. And you can see only 19Ss in the 50s. And that's a 44.3% in the 1950s. Oh, and there's the 1960D. Uh, in the 40s, we got 38.7%, including only 8 S's. And that's only 8 S's for a total of 968 1940s. We got 279 1930s, and that's 11%. And that's pretty good. And they're over here. There are my 40s. And... Uh, in the 19 teens and the 09, we got 56, including three S's and mostly just Philadelphia. Oh, in the 1920s, we got 77, 1920s, and three S's. But, uh, so yeah, overall, we didn't get very many S's, only 35 total, 783 Denver, and then 1674 Philly. So, uh, interesting hunt. Uh, I didn't count eight coins that are somewhere. Maybe on the ground. <laughs> Maybe I missed one stack. Who knows? Uh, no big deal. And uh, I'm going to go through each one of these stacks and try and find all the special coins. And uh, we'll show every single thing that I found during this video. All right. And uh, here are all my 1909s and teens. We got three 1909. And the value on a good one is about 370. We got five 1910s. And the good value is 37 cents. 1912, 3 1913. Uh, maybe a 1913S, but I'm not certain of that. If I do have that, it's a really good coin. 1914, 1 1915, 6 1916, 23 1919, and uh, yeah, then some 20s. Four in the 23. Now you can see this. All right, and then the rest is less interesting, although we did find these S's and these D's. And when I first started searching this box, I started putting pennies into my kids' books, but I took them all out because I wanted to do the tallies. So I'm gonna put them all back in right now, and that'll give us a good opportunity to look at some special coins. And I don't have any 1909s, and neither do my children, but uh, there's three of them here, and so each of my kids will get one. And I'm not going to get one because I'm only putting coins in here that I find in regular bank boxes, not stuff I buy on eBay. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a lot of coins. So my kids did a lot of commenting on my videos, so I'm going to give them a lot of coins. And they each got a 1909, and they're both about to get a 1910 as well, although I did put this one in a flip. And so uh, the nicest one will not go into their books right now. <laughs> And these four are not in great shape, but we'll take the one on the far left and, uh, yikes. I don't know. A 1913. And my son also got a 1912. And I also needed the 10 and the 12 and the 13. And they both got a 1914 as well. 1915 for my daughter. And they're both going to get a 1916, which rings in at 131.8 million. And a couple nice looking ones here, so that's good. And we're going to upgrade this 1917, so that's good. And they're both going to get a 1918, 288.1 million. And some decent ones here to choose from. They're both going to get a 1919 and a 1919S. And my son, or, and my daughter already has a 1919D. And it looks like I needed the 15 and the 16. But I have all the 19s. And now we're on to the 20s. Need a 1923. And one of them's getting a 1924. So that's cool. 
Okay, folks, and there seems to be something going on here. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but this 1923 is small. It didn't fit into my uh, penny book. It came right out like it was a dime. And uh, here it's demonstrably smaller, I think, even visually, than these other coins. So I don't know if there's some error there or there's a thick rim. And that's what it looks like, a pretty thick rim. But uh, interesting coin. I'm, I'm real happy with this. Well, I'm sure I'm overreacting, but that's pretty cool to me. <laughs> I'm going to put this into a holder, a dime-sized one. <laughs> and it fits pretty well in the dime-sized uh, cardboard. Okay, and uh, 5.960 is what we get with this. And that's the same weight as... Uh, it's 1910. So even though I've already got it in the holder, it looks like it's probably just a squished rim. But pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> Smushed rim. <laughs> My daughter will also get a 26, a 27, and a 28. And already has a 29. All right, next we'll put some of these S's and D's into the 1930 through 1958 books. And this 35S is awesome. But only have one. And one of them has the 42S, and one of them needs one, so that's good. 39D and a 1938D to the other one. Those are great coins. They each get a 55S, and I got exactly two 1954s. So they're each going to get one of those, and that'll finish it off. Okay, folks, and the next thing I'm going to do is... Go through every one of these pennies one more time and examine them really closely and see if I can find any more errors, clipped coins, CUD errors, lamination errors, etc. And almost forgot this 1931 will also go in one of my kids' books. And this is a pretty nice looking 1955S with CUD errors. But it's not in great shape, and the errors are kind of flattened down, so I don't think there's much value here. But nice looking coin. And this 55 has a big CUD error on the 5, but this coin is also not in very good shape, so... Not terrible, though. Okay, and we're done looking at all the teens and 20s and S's and uh, D's up through 1939. And these are the 1958 D's, and we're going to go all the way around the table and look through every single coin and see if we can find anything cool. And uh, I definitely put some cool ones back, so we're going to rediscover them as well. So there will be some interesting finds. Let's go. 58 D. Okay, folks, and I'm pretty sure we've got a lamination error here. So that's cool. And maybe even something going on with his head. Although I have to check and see if that's damaged. Well, I don't think there's anything on the head other than just some scratches, but pretty sure that's some type of mint error. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put it into a uh, I'm going to put it into a cardboard. Okay. Okay, there we go. This one's kind of interesting. It's got uh, some weird coating on it. And then that little square thing under Liberty, there's another one of those on his head. And it looks like a stamp, but I can't really make it out. 1957D. Maybe a CUD on that 9. I'll have to check it. Was that a BIE? I'll have to check that too. Might be. Ooh, that one is. Something's going on there. <laughs> Alright. Maybe on the 9. Oh, the B has one. Oh, another BIE. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. 
and I don't think anything's there, but. All right, let me check all these and I'll pull out the ones that definitely have them. Uh, this one is definitely a BIE and uh, in decent shape, so I like that one. Here, these are all Bs filled and the nine on that one. This one is the B, the B, the B. And this one's the nine. And then even these ones up here, which, uh, you know, I'm throwing back. There's a BIE there, a little bit. A little bit on the nine, and a little bit on the nine. So these coins just, you know, they get that CUD error pretty common. Next coin, next CUD error. And this one's pretty good, actually. Not in bad shape at all. There's the nine. And there's the B. And there's an ugly looking one with the B. This one is just a nice looking penny, so I pulled it. And this one is as well. It's got a really, really nice red color. Now I'm not finding any CUD BIE errors. And what I just figured out is uh, that stack I got all those out of was one I had already put together. Maybe we'll find some more, but I think the sum of these BIEs were from the hunt over the past uh, few weeks. Okay, now we'll check the 1954 Denver. Okay, I think I have a die crack here. So let's see if we can see it here. I do think so. And uh, here as well, you can see it. And then somewhere here, a bit of a crack skull going on. And all my special 50s are here. And I wrapped up all the other ones. Now it's on to the 40s. And we got all the 1940s in there. And I'm not gonna put the 30s or 20s or teens in there. I'm going to uh, find some different Wheaties and fill this up with 50s and 40s. Okay, folks, and we're all cleaned up and ready to wrap it up. And I had a great hunt, found a lot of cool stuff, and can still go through this a little bit more, but I think we're gonna call it a wrap. And uh, I have to admit, I just bought another box. <laughs> and uh, definitely would recommend it. And a lot of fun, even if these boxes were wrapped after 1958. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.